All right, listen, we all deal with this in a variety of ways. Some people buy houses they can't afford to impress people they don't even know, or go on a shopping spree to buy clothes to make them feel good about themselves. There are so many different motivations behind our spending, and we just need to be aware of them. And we all struggle with insecurities. Doesn't mean there's anything wrong with us. It's actually very normal. But normal can drain our bank accounts. For instance, I read an article in the New York Times last month. You guys, it was insane. And it's kind of an extreme example of all of this, but it was a true story. There was a couple, they went on their honeymoon and they came back from their honeymoon and they almost got divorced because of it, okay? Because the entire time on the honeymoon, the woman in the relationship there was like, freaking out about every sunset and she had to get in the ocean. She had a pose. It was like this whole vacation, this whole honeymoon full of nightmares for her husband. Her husband said it was one of the most miserable weeks of his life because he didn't feel like they had a honeymoon. He felt like they were chasing around sunsets to have pictures of something that was not even going to be published in a magazine, but for her to post on Instagram. Now, again, kind of extreme, but there's a lot of people that post a lot of pictures on their honeymoon, which I'm not saying that's terrible. But you guys, it got to the point so bad that they got home and they almost got divorced. They said it was for a number of reasons. And I was like, uh, yeah, because she's probably a little bit, you know what I mean? But I mean, it just was terrible. And then there was another couple they highlighted in the article who lived in London. And one of their favorite places to go was like the countryside of England. And so they planned their honeymoon there and they could afford 10 days there. 10 days, have a great honeymoon and a place they loved. But she said that when people started asking her where they're going on their honeymoon, she told them where and everyone was like, oh, they just weren't impressed. And because of people's reactions, she changed their honeymoon destination to go to Italy instead. And they could only afford to go five nights and they stayed at this like terrible Airbnb that didn't even have air conditioning. And it was like a loft. So the way the ceiling was and the way the bed was, they said they couldn't even have sex on their honeymoon because they couldn't even sit up in bed. Guys, all because of other people's expectations and what she wanted to portray on Instagram. And she even said that she would look at restaurants around their Airbnb and look at the menu to figure out, okay, will the food be really pretty that I can post on Instagram? And that's where I want to go. Like that was her motivation behind what restaurant she was going to on their honeymoon. Okay. I mean, it's just, it's crazy where we have gotten in our world with social media. And it's so hard because everyone's highlight reels are so visible, right? And what it can do is amplify our own insecurities. So what you have to focus on is what really matters in your life, okay? What really matters? And a lot of that comes with being content, being content with where you are. This is gonna be huge because when you're not content, your insecurities are gonna flare up and more than likely you're gonna end up spending more money. So. That's one of the reasons I wrote the Contentment Journal. You guys, if you've not checked it out, make sure you do. You can start reading for free. Make sure to click the link in the show notes because finding contentment is extremely important in this process. 